Governor Snyder signed a bill allocating $28 million for the city of Flint to deal with the water crisis. Legislators and journalists were gathered in the Amway Grand in downtown Grand Rapids to watch the signing. We have a crisis in Flint. We have a situation where people cannot drink the water coming out of the tap. That's wrong. This shouldn't happen anywhere in Michigan. And as we go through this process with Flint, there are lessons to be learned for the entire state. Hello, Governor. My name is Greg Horner. I'm from the Delta Collegiate. Um, with the recent crisis in Flint and the situation in Detroit, have you reconsidered your emergency manager law at all? Yeah, what I'd say is, is the emergency manager law has actually done many good things in our state, in many places. And I would be happy to share you the much more detailed background. But if you looked at it, we've had emergency managers in Michigan going back to the 80s in some fashion. But far too often they're there for too long, they weren't successful in turning around a community, so we enhanced the law. And if you look at it today, we don't have any emergency managers in any city in Michigan. We have two in school districts that are relatively small, but still important that we're focused on. The big challenge is Detroit public schools. And to be open there, that's the one case where I would say the emergency manager law has not worked effectively as I'd like to see it. And my goal was recognizing that about a year ago to say, what I think we need to do is look at improving education in Detroit beyond just the public school system. So I've proposed a package that, again, I hope we can see some progress from a legislative solution point of view in the early part of this year. Otherwise, we're going to end up in court and judges could be making decisions for the future of the kids in Detroit. So we have a window here where we can work together to have a much better outcome for the kids of Detroit. And that's critically important to the future of all of Michigan. So outside of the Detroit public school case, in many cases, the emergency manager law has worked very effectively in terms of helping turn around communities. In Flint, obviously, there's questions, and that'll be part of the, the whole analysis of what took place. But to give you one point, to put it in context, the city council has actually voted seven to one to make the change to the other water system. And the emergency manager ratified that because he wanted to respect the wishes of the city when it could have gone either way. So we need to keep working these things, and I view it as continuous improvement. Let's stand up together as Michiganders to say, mistakes were made, problems happened, we're going to solve them, we're going to fix them, and we're going to be better and stronger by doing things in the future and have our voice be the voice leading the dialogue and discussion. That's what we should be doing. And we have a special opportunity to make part of that statement right here today. So I'm actually proud to say I'm going to sign that bill Thank you, guys. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So in total, it's $28 uh, million, dollars, a little over $28 million, and includes several things. Uh, so not only uh, materials and resources that are needed in Flint right now, but there's also other money in there for things such as an infrastructure study. I think that's some very important funding because as you're watching some of the uh, reports right now in, in Flint, it was made clear just the other night that there, there really isn't clear information or any clear record keeping as to what infrastructure is in the ground currently. For example, where the lead lines are and where they're not. And so that's very important work that needs to be done. I think the, the, the whole purpose of this bill, and there will be other steps in this, but this is what you might consider uh, phase one, uh, is really to contain the problem and say we can't allow this to get any worse. Well, there's been quite a bit that we've been doing. I mean, the governor asked us to, to, to pass this package and the House passed it and a couple days later the uh, Senate passed it. So we're we acted as, as soon as he asked us to act. Uh, we felt it was certainly a, a health, primary health issue for the citizens of the state. And uh, I think, like to think we're right on top of it. Obviously, you heard it was bipartisan and uh, unanimous.